Look at your paintings. Can you show everybody all your paintings? Do you have a favorite? You like that one? <laughs> Doing? I'm watching a TV show while typing off my notes. Oh, cool. Wow. It's Thursday. No, it's not. It's Tuesday. Tuesday night, and we are tired. I went to the grocery store and to the dog food store. Stopped at the bank. And um, everything takes so long because you know, get a mask, get to go one way, you gotta look for things when things are no longer available. So Dan spent the afternoon, three couple, three hours with Dad, and I went out and ran errands, which felt good, even though I was disinfected and covered up. But now I'm back. We get all. We've been shopping, big shopping, like every two weeks, and so it's exhausting. Mm -hmm. Got everything put away and ordered Chinese food, which seems to be our pattern. But that's fine. So we're gonna have Chinese food with the family. What else? Nothing else. Hello? I might to order spring rolls. Why are you in your crate? With the door open. You waiting for your dinner? You ready dinner now? Right now? You wanna wait five minutes? You good girl? Holly? Is Daddy making your dinner? Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. You gotta eat all of it, okay? Mm -hmm. I will do it. What do you mean you won't do it? I will do it. You promise? Yes. Can you tell everybody why you have to eat in the crate? Because Henry eats my food. Henry eats your food? Yeah. Does Henry eat Henry's food? Yeah. Does Henry eat all the food? Mm -hmm. Oh, runner. We got a runner. Everybody bark. Oh, runner's gone. The nice thing about runners is they're fast. This is that Too great. There you go. Dinner's coming. What do you want? Treat? You want the cat treats? You want Temptations mix-ups? Um, let's see what flavor is this. Backyard cookout or catnip fever? Hmm. Hard choice. Come up on the counter. We'll have some of this kind. Come on. Come on up here. Happy about this? You want those? You want those? Tell me how you really feel. You want a treat? They're not open yet. What are we gonna do about it? I got, what do you want some treats? They're open. What are you gonna do about it? I opened them. Look, help yourself. Look what I can do. I'm magical. Is it one enough? You good with one? No?
You're welcome. That's enough for you. Go to sleep. Go find Sarah. Time to go night night. Kitty cat go night night time. Come on, have a drink of water. There you go. Boy, good stuff, man. Try these with your cat. Very successful treat. Good morning from our quarantine world. Today I woke up and Sarah took the dogs out, which was good, and then Dale and I are having morning classical music and a little bit of sensory relaxation. Got the lights going. It's a little gloomy this morning and cloudy. Not sure what's going on with that, but a cold. It's supposed to have a couple days of pretty chilly, like down to 30s and 40s. So I have red around my nose. Red, red. That is from the CPAP thing that goes over my face. Usually it fades <laughs> or I put makeup on it. But I slept for eight hours, so I did see it. I'm not sure if I have it on too tight or what's going on with that, but look at my nose. Look at my nose. Do you see it? The bump in your nose? No. The mask? The red, the redness? Yeah. Say good morning. Morning. Why do you have redness on your nose? That's from the thing on my face. Oh. Okay. Laundry? Anyway. I'm going to fix my coffee because it got cold. Check on things out here. I have this giant pile of laundry. It's kind of how it is. John's working upstairs. I think Sarah, sometimes she works down here, but she's upstairs. Tomorrow's her last, last of her finals and stuff. And Thomas, I think, is almost done, or is done. So we made it through their semesters, and we'll see what's going to happen. I hope this redness fades on my face, because look, at, I feel funny. I feel really funny. Anyway, I am going to have some breakfast and upload the video I almost finished yesterday. I have therapy at, whoops, I have therapy at 12. Today is Wednesday, right? Honestly, having, I had a doctor's appointment yesterday on the telehealth. Having appointments on Wednesdays has really kind of helped me keep a sense of a routine. Eventually, I'll have the nurses come back, and I think I'm looking at, not next Monday, but the following, I think it's the 18th, to start back with at least one nurse and then work into a little more of a schedule. It's just baby steps, you know, because they say that the best thing to do before you reopen things is to have the virus numbers be on a, about a 14 day at least downward curve in terms of cases and hospitalizations. And so that's kind of been happening here in Connecticut in the north. Um, our numbers were really bad. Now they're getting better and they're getting better in my town. So that's, that's reassuring and in the area. So I've been watching those numbers closely and tracking them. And sometimes I post on my videos a little clip, a little picture of the, um, it's like a tool that shows the numbers in Fairfield County, Connecticut, which is where I live, which is sort of the western part of Connecticut that is, you know, southwestern Connecticut that borders New York. So seeing those numbers go down is very encouraging for us. Um, I'm just proceeding with a lot of caution for Daniel's sake, obviously. Sarah might have to go back to California in a couple weeks because she has a job. I need to just take it one day at a time still, right? I'm not ready to go out and about yet because I just can't take the risk. Some people are like, well, you know, we got to work. We got to go back. I respect that. But for me, I can't, I can't risk right now because there aren't vaccines, there aren't really good treatments, and I would much rather have Daniel get sick when we know that he'll be able to get the best treatment. So, and maybe he never will, hopefully. Okay, I'm gonna go 
do my breakfast and hopefully the red on my face goes away. If not, I'm gonna go get some makeup because I think I probably wore it too tight last night. Boop, boop. So Daniel and I are just looking at his his paintings. I laid them all out. We want to make sure we have the best photographs of them because these are all on or will be on the Etsy shop. We have uh, for sales of Dan's artwork. And this one is new. And this one is new. And let's see. This one is new. And that one is new. And the other purple one. We're doing a big purple one over there. I'm not sure which one's of the lavender. I've got one that's more white and one that's more gray. Maybe I'll do both. And that's really nice, Daniel. Those are, those are your paintings. Sometimes I like to show him up front, up close. Remember we did the fish? Yeah, see you? You're looking at your paint. Kind of helps me think about like a new project. We have one that we need to finish over here. Let me show you. It's, I made the tree. <laughs> we have to put the leaves or flowers on it still. But that's going to be another no nice one. Anyway, I have therapy in about half an hour, but I wanted to go through all of the paintings on my Etsy shop and make sure everything is up to date. Share the links again, because we sell copies of his prints that he does with me and I sit with him and I show him the Etsy shop on his iPad. And we haven't sold very many over the years. I think a total of like 15. But I also haven't been really marketing it or looking at it for a while. A lot of them had expired. So we just decided it would be a good project to do while we're home. Look at them if you're interested. I think we sell them for 10, we ship them for free. We have some ideas. I've got a long list of ideas for new concepts that we want to paint, but they take a while. Usually it's like we do a little bit, then we have to let it dry because when Daniel puts his fingerprints, you know, we need to make sure they dry before we put the next layer. Occasionally, I just let him go at it and do his own, but most of the time we do it together, right? We like to do it together. Do you like to paint with me? Look at your paintings. Can you show everybody all your paintings? Do you have a favorite? You like that one? All right, we're gonna do some photographing. And then I'm gonna clean these up. I wanna find a wall to display them all. These are all the originals. Mm -hmm. Wanna do that? Oh, you can do that. Are you looking out the window? Everything's getting so green outside, see? Anyway, I try, I do my best. I'm not an artist. I'm from artwork to music to exercise, watching TV, going outside, staying inside, going for drives, <laughs> trying to keep Daniel entertained. And I'm very happy to say that he is very healthy and doing great. Probably better than me. <laughs> right? You love mommy? You love hanging with me? We're going to paint later after my my doctor's appointment. Boops. He likes it when I tap him to music. He starts to laugh. Watch. Let's see if I can get him to giggle. All right. There you go. 
You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Boops! Ah, uh, please don't take my sunshine away. Do -do 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 -do. I could not find you. So I held my hand and cried. And now we're smiling on my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Mom. Okay, let's get going with this project. All right, so we have to photograph one, two, three, four, five. Moving on. Mm -hmm. 